I'm Ian Ross and I'm an applications engineer with Novacentrix and what I'm going to show you today is screen printing a heater element on Kapton film. So what you need to get started, this is just a screen print kit that we actually sell in the store website. Um, and I've got a screen here which is imaged with the pattern that I'd like to use of course. It's a pretty simple heater element, it's just kind of a path going back and forth. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to screen print of course FG32 silver ink onto the uh, cap top, and then um, we're going to cover drying it and curing it and everything later in the video. So the things you need, of course, screen print kit, some ink, FG32 in this case, uh, of course a squeegee. I like to use a nice uh, sharp edge squeegee. That just means it's got a nice square angle on it. It doesn't have to be really clean or anything, but it does need to have a nice sharp edge. This one has, um, it's a little stiffer, so you can see that middle material is actually a stiffener. Uh, but it is just a urethane squeegee. Uh, I've got here some um, poly image, which is just cut into six by six inch sheets. And that's just mainly because it covers the entire area of the heater element with room to spare. With screen printing, you want to make sure that you've always got on your screen plenty of run up and kind of extra runway once you do the print stroke from start to finish. And that will actually give you a nice clean release from uh, when you do the print. Uh, this one I've also added a um, vacuum plate. And this gives us the ability to um, pull down on the Kapton so that when I do the print, it doesn't just snap right off. There's a lot of ways to do release um, on this screen print kit. You can just put spray tack or double-sided adhesive onto the back of the film here on the back of the plate. Or you can use something like a vacuum tray like this. Uh, this is nice because, of course, it's switchable, right? So now you can see that the, the film is stuck to the plate, right? So that way, the print forces won't pull it off. Okay. So First thing you do, of course, is run a bead of ink on the close the side close to you that's because the first step is going to be to flood right